So, is the hood underrated? All right, what is going on, my dudes? We are back here today with a video that actually does feel quite a bit overdue at this point. So the hood got a buff a few months ago. Well, actually, he got a buff close to a year ago, and people didn't like it, so it was rolled back. Six months go by, and then the hood buff came out again. And I haven't really heard too many people talk about him since. Now, there are definitely some people who are pretty big Hood fans. There are some videos on YouTube, absolutely for sure. But in general, I feel like this guy has kind of just been forgotten ever since his buff. And there was so much like, you know, noise around the buff the first time where they were like, you know, we're going to take him back. We're going to do him right. And people are going to be happy, right? And ever since then... I haven't heard people complaining. I haven't heard people like overly joyed about him. So I just feel like he's been mega neutral ever since. And you know, I've messed with him a bit. I've had the hood at six star rank two since before he was buffed. Um, I've always liked the hood. I thought he was cool. I thought his damage was just absolute crap. It used to be. Um, but he had like nice utility and now he's still got that utility for the most part. Oh, really dude? Uh so he's got that utility still for the most part everything is just about the same and he's got more damage on top of other mechanics as well so in theory i should like this guy a lot right so why am i not using him more why haven't i took taken the hood to rank three yet well i've made some rank two post buff hood gameplay back when he was first buffed um that's all i ever made on this guy so if you want to see rank 2 footage go back to his buff initially and i definitely did some footage on him we're going to be looking at a rank 3 hood today uh because like i said we've already messed around with him at rank 2 um all my experience with him is at rank 2 just in general so gonna take him up a rank today because some champions really benefit from that higher rank we're gonna leave him at a lowest sig sig 40 is what mine is at we'll leave him there um his sig is like fine doesn't need to be super high sig i don't think i'd give him any six stones ever i don't think it's worth it right the hood becomes immune to all stun effects firing a bullet while invisible has a 30 percent chance to steal 10 percent of the opponent's current power getting twice that amount in the process right i don't know why i'm not listening to anything at all so i don't know why i'm wearing headphones um i didn't even realize i was to be entirely Entirely honest but now they're off um but yeah so essentially this guy is a very interesting character and we're going to be talking about all of it okay while we do like a classic winter soldier damage test but before we do that i want to talk about some synergies that this guy has that really takes him to the next level so my biggest gripe with the hood's buff was that he has this new hex pistol mechanic right and it kind of felt like it made him like a one and done in the chamber champ right like he goes in and he uses all his bullets and then he's kind of done for the rest of the quest right that's my biggest issue with him it's been my biggest issue with him ever since he was buffed the first time but there's this synergy that really fixes that issue and i feel like the synergy should just be in his base kit it's right here with mole man knocking the opponent down loads three bullets that goes a very 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 long way in fixing that problem so i feel like there are a lot of people who write off hood as like the one and done champ but this is with you know, Mole Man, who's an incredibly useful champion, Mysterio, who's decent, Mojo, who's very good, especially if he's awakened at a high sig, right? And you have Modok, who's not, but he has a lot of potential to get buffed in the future. You know, Modok has a lot of great synergies that he's a part of. Ultron has an amazing synergy with him. Um, this is a really good one with him, but he's just, he's so useless on his own. Not useless, but not the champ you want to bring along, right? So yeah, who knows, but maybe in the future that could change. This synergy is also quite nice. Um, I, I, I've heard people tell me this synergy is broken, um, that it's just not working. Not sure if that's still the case, but if it does work, invisibility starting chance starts at 140 instead of 120. That's definitely nice to have. Not necessary, but very nice to have. King Groot, amazing champion. Vulture, really good champion over here. This one doesn't do much for him, but as you guys know, Kingpin, has a great synergy with the hood for himself, right? That gives him that 100% rage, purifiability, accuracy. And it also gives um, the hood 25% invisibility duration. So that's really good for both of them. And then down here, this is just uh, something for King Groot. And over here, you get to start invisible with the ghost. 
So that's definitely pretty good too. But yeah, this is a solid synergy team. Full of five really good champions. So this is like not like an unrealistic team at all. You have Ghost and Hood, King, Kingpin and Hood. Those two duos right there, Mole Man's a beast, Kingpin's, I mean, uh, King Root is amazing. So this is just a solid team of five right here. Now, if you don't know how this guy works, I'll explain it to you as I go along here. Essentially, he has these hex pistols. You see 28 up there? Every time I do a medium attack, I'm gonna put a hex thingy. I do not know what any of these things are called, just so you guys know, on Winter Soldier. Now, if I go for a special two, gonna activate invisibility, all right? And now I can phase. And every time I get hit through the phase, I get these like bullets that are about to be loaded up. See how I went from 18 to 22? And you can see underneath Winter Soldier's health bar, there's that little 19 right now. And I can dash back, Hold block and I can go invisible. All right. 21, 22. I'm gonna go for a special two here, put a lot of bullets on, go invisible again. All right. Now, as you can see, I'm stealing some power. Go for another special two. See that? Go for another special two. Didn't steal any power that time. That's all right. So, as you can see, we have 42, 43 hex things on him. We're about to get 10 more, 14, all right? 45 hex bullets, 47 hex bullets. It's all been going pretty fast too. What do you think? You think 50 hex bullets is gonna kill him? Should we try it? Watch this, watch this heavy attack. This is how Hood gets his damage right here. That was a 250K detonation. Now, there's one more synergy that I do wanna talk about because right away, what was Hood's problem? His problem was he didn't have damage, right? That was his problem. There is one more synergy that is quite nice for the Hood. 92 hits is not bad. I'm gonna show it to you right now. Gain plus 50% attack rating while invisible. That is quite a bit of attack rating for the Hood with Strife, a really great champion who I like quite a bit. Now, the only issue with Strife is that he really excels in like Labyrinth and Abyss, places where you're not normally gonna be using the Hood, right? So that's the only downside to this synergy where Strife is a super duper useful champion, really good. You know, he's a miss counter, he's an evade counter. He can uh, get around past the Thorns damage, which nobody else in this team really does. But normally, more often than not, you don't wanna go in with Strife, who's gonna be unramped in like a normal quest. You totally could, especially if you're at a high SIG. But but for me, I love Strife for long form content, and that's not where I would peg the hood as super useful. Now, we talked about that, um, uh, was it the Mole Man synergy? Yeah, the Mole Man synergy where you knock him down to get three pistols, right? Now, that is really, really huge when you spam that special too, and also you can do like heavy attacks to gain them as well. Watch, if I knock him down right now, up to 31. Knock him down again, up to 34. So if you go into the next fight and your bullets are down, you can just right away ramp them back up with that mole man synergy however keep in mind you can't do that without it so that's one con to the hood is that i feel like the mole man synergy or whoever else you want to bring along mole man's the best champion on that those four in my opinion but um and the most useful but that synergy is very important to keeping hood as more than a one and done champion he doesn't, you know, it's also depending where if you like nullify buffs, I believe you get more as well. If you take a lot of hits into the phase, you get more as well. But just in general and like a normal matchup, right, that the hood isn't like made to take, you really want that synergy. And that synergy kind of fixes his biggest issue, in my opinion. And again, Mole Man is absolutely freaking incredible. And there's only one champion needed to do that. But anyway, let's start doing this fight and let's see how much Strife helps our damage, okay? So now it used to be, by the way, that Hood's invisibility had a 90% chance for projectiles to miss, okay? The way it works now is that you start without synergy at 120%, and every hit into the phase takes off 20%, okay? So you start at 120, 140% with the King Root Synergy, I believe, that's the one. Um, you get hit once, you go down 20%. You get hit again, 
go down another 20%. So right now we're down 40%, 60%, 80%, all right? And one of the bullets hit us, okay? So that's how that works. He also has a little bit of life steal as well. I believe it's when his staggers expire. So as you can see, um, I'm running him with the Suicide Masteries. I'm using the special attacks whenever I get them, the special two. The special two is giving me three bullets for knocking him down. And whenever those staggers expire, getting a little bit of life steal. So he's decent with the suicide masteries, like decent enough, <laughs> not amazing with them. All right. So what we're going to do this time is we're going to go ahead and activate invisibility naturally by holding a uh, dashing back with the block. And we're going to go for a heavy attack and shout out to the invisibility for saving us there. All right, special two, and then heavy attack. And we can just go like this. That was a massive burst of damage. Now, that was uh, much more... Now, that actually, funny enough, that fight actually took more hits because we were fooling around in the beginning. All right, so really quick, I was just editing this, and I remember there was a synergy I actually liked quite a bit that on a heavy attack here puts an energy vulnerability debuff for seven seconds. So let's go ahead and ramp this guy up to his 50, just like we just did. And then I'll show you the difference. All right, so I think we had 51 hex pistols for both of the first two fights, I believe. So we'll get 51 here. And now watch the heavy attack puts the energy vulnerability on at the beginning. And that definitely goes a really long way in increasing that energy burst. 77 hits there in that fight, which was definitely better than, you know, the first two. So I just popped Mr. Negative on that last team instead of, I believe, Kingpin. Uh, so yeah. Now, another thing is, you know, like I said, I use a lot of medium attacks and stuff like that in that fight, right? So if, if, if Mole Man wasn't here, we'd be very low on bullets. Even with him, we're going in with nine less than we started, okay? But right away, like I was saying, this mole man synergy allows us to kind of get those back right away. Boom, 22. And you know what you can also do with him? You can also keep, you know, if you're in more of a casual questing situation, there, there, there's nothing saying that you have to build up to a giant explosion at all. Like right away, you can keep going with like medium heavies and just getting some nice bursts of damage as you go along. Keep in mind, Captain Marvel Classic here has a decent amount of health, right? And the invisibility, man, it's very nice. Especially because with like the power steal from the SIG ability and just consistently having that special two invisibility and the guaranteed chance to miss. Like, I mean, look at, dude, that is a very, very powerful invisibility mechanic. And look right there, see, I, I, I charged three heavy attacks in a row like that after I did a detonation. And my bullets were over above 30. Now, huge shout out again to the Mole Man Synergy and watch this heavy attack. It's a very strong invisibility mechanic. Go for a special two, reset the invisibility, do the same thing. And as you can see, I'm now up to 35 bullets and I'm kind of making a joke out of this Captain Marvel classic here. Now we haven't talked about the special one yet. It puts a nice shock on the opponent. Now she might be dead before it happens, but she's about to get stunned. And we ended with 39 bullets starting with 19. So, <laughs> you know, my biggest criticism of, of Hood is like, oh, the bullets. Use Mole Man with him. So good. Now, these other synergies, right, that are here. Kingpin makes invisibility 25% longer. Decent. Uh, King Groot makes it start at 140 instead of 120. It seems fixed to me. It seems fixed. I've gotten hit one time in any of these three fights. And that was just because I chanced it. Um, when I had like four hits already. Uh, so that does seem fixed. That's a nice synergy to have, but again, you don't need it. Strife synergy plus more attack while you're invisible, but again, you don't need it. I'd say that honestly, man, Mole Man synergy is the most important one. 
I really would. We've been in Realm of Legends for a very long time. So what we're going to do here is we're going to jump out of here. We're going to do some more mystic utility stuff. And we're only going to bring along um, Hood and Mole Man. Or maybe just Hood for now. And like Cosmic Ghost Rider to get past the fights we don't want to take. All right. So let's start doing some stuff. All right. I actually decided to go with Howard instead of Cosmic Ghost Rider because he makes, you know, much more enjoyable noises to listen to while you play the game. So up next, we're going to be checking out some resistor lanes. Okay. Resistor. Let's take a look here. Resistor, immune to bleed, immune to poison, immune to armor break immunity. So this is where I used to really, really love the hood. Now, if you combine him with like Mystic Dispersion, the dude is absolutely freaking nuts. I don't have any Mystic Dispersion on, but he really doesn't need it in order to do these fights. Now check out right here in his Hex Pistols. Nullify a buff, load two bullets, okay? So keep in mind, we don't have the Mole Man Synergy here because I said, if you're using him in a fight where like you want to use a Mystic Champion anyway, his bullets are going to be a lot more manageable. I just realized there's a max of 42. I did not know that, um, but I've never hit that before. So that seems reasonable, <laughs> you know? Um, but yeah, so as you can see, the mediums put him on, nullify a buff, load the bullets, make them miss one bullet, and there you go. Uh, dash back, you get the invisibility. While uh, active, his, uh, he gets attack goes up plus 600. Critical damage rating, or just the critical damage rating goes up. You ignore 75% armor rating and block efficiency. So lots of good stuff while invisible. You really want to be invisible pretty much the entire fight whenever you can with the special two or dashing back when it's active. See right here, with the critical hits, you put a stagger on the opponent. When the stagger ends, it inflicts a decent amount of damage and heals the hood for a matching amount, which is a very nice lifesteal. That's why we're kind of getting uh, topped up here, okay? Um, again, heavy attacks. Uh, refresh the duration of all personal bleeds and face seal effects hood has applied to the opponent and causes all hexes to expire immediately those are the bullets on the medium attack we showed the special one we've done the special two the special three here is very interesting to me uh plus a decent amount of attack rating for each full bar the opponent has um but I, you know the thing is it's like you can use that at three bars of power and then kind of rely on the sig ability um <laughs> right here right with a 33 percent chance to steal 10 percent of the opponent's current power so like personally i don't think i would ever chance that you know i would never like push someone to a special three use a special three and then go for like medium medium and then have two shots of 32 percent chance to steal some of their power it seems not like the best idea personally i don't think um, but if you use it when they're just above two bars of power, that's plus 4,000 attack rating and then there's a bleed on them. All right. So yeah, but regardless, we're going to go in here against Resistor where there are tons of buffs to, to nullify and take advantage of. And the special two is still really, really good for dealing with buffs because it removes all buffs just outright. Also, man, when you get comfortable, when you get comfy with this phase, whoo. You're like, you're, you're just like rolling along with this. Okay, so <laughs> I love that. I took a chance and I shouldn't have taken a chance, but regardless, right? So as you can see, our bullets, they're doing pretty good here. Watch this. Heavy attack. Heavy attack. Not bad. Not bad. In fact, not bad is a really bad way to describe it is really good actually aside from that one blast from the special two all of that was really good all of that was very good so he used to do this lane in like geez man it was like seriously like well over 100 hits it was not impressive damage like damage wise you know nice that was just a great heavy attack right to the face so Damage wise, man, he has gotten an absolutely enormous improvement. Just huge. Huge. And the damage just on basic hits, too, is just nice. And this is with zero synergies, which is great because in Realm of Legends, let's do some heavy attacks here. That was an absolutely enormous explosion. And as you can see, man, the lifesteal, it's it's decent. Wow, so let's some of these things expire here. See, we're just we're just going up in health a bit. Nice. Let's go for a special two. 
And another thing, man, if you go for the special two and you happen to like hit into their block, you're gonna go invisible. And if they try to punish you, they won't be able to. So that's just like a very like nice little thing right there. The special two right there. Let's hit it. Let's see. Not too bad, man. But, ooh, okay. Okay, that's some big brain AI right there, Yondu. We didn't play that one very well at all. But that invisibility comes in very, very nicely for those projectiles that are like hard to dex and everything like that. You could phase most of it, right? Take some block damage at the end of the day, but much more than you would if you weren't invisible and phasing that special too, right? Now, I really want to just focus on the bullets right here. He went through three fights and we ended that at 41 bullets. So in the, in the matchups where there are just a frick ton of buffs, that's going to go a really long way. Now, that hex on the special too, or is it a fate seal? What exactly is it called on a special two? Uh, the fate seal on the special two, it used to be called a hex, goes a really, really long way in doing a lot of things. Now, there are lots of nodes where there are just tons of buffs on the opponent, right? This is really good for just removing all buffs. So any buffs that, that give a certain effect, gone, just gone. And you see in this video how easy it is to chain special twos like it's nothing without Mystic Dispersion on, right? Also, how about this? While this feat seal is active, the opponent's ability accuracy is reduced by 65%. That is pretty decent. So right away, we can go into some other places where there are buffs and see how we can take advantage of this. All right, man, we're here for a really big test here for the hood. So this is, like I've said many times in the past, the toughest power gain defender in the entire game. Aspect of Evolution, improved power gain and super charge. And we have Brute Force and Bubble Shield on top of all of that. Now, if we can consistently keep Staggers and Fate Seals on Hyperion here, we can really make many of these mechanics quite negligible here. We also have the Power Steal on the Mediums while Invisible. We do want to stay quite aggressive here. And now here comes the Special 2 Fate Seal, all right? We want to keep staggers on him by critting. We want to get back up to the special two. Come on, man. And how about that nice life steal that we keep topping up here? We're just throwing all of our bullets at him too. We're not too concerned with that right now because we're going to explode all of them. This is like... This is like a perfect example of like that one and done one in the chamber fight that I was talking. Oh no, dude, no, <laughs> I pushed him to a special three. I was going to heavy right after it. Okay, well, let's heavy attack and just see how much damage we do. Oh my, let's just do it again since it was so freaking easy for us. Let's see it. Let's, let's see if it was a fluke. How about that? Let's see if that very impressive showcase was a fluke can we do it twice in a row will the ai let us do it twice in a row is the better question i think it will always oh, unblockable come on forgot about bubble shield all right this is where we were 30 of the pistols and just about dead we had two more, man. I think the two more would have done it, but I believe this special two is going to finish him off. No. <gasps> okay, got him. <laughs> it counts. <laughs> it counts. So yeah, that was, you know, two times in a row. Not, not bad. Really, really good stuff. Really good stuff, you know? Um, super solid stuff there, actually. No synergies at all. No synergies, and he handled that fight really well. So like I was saying, like I was saying right before I got rocked by the special three, is that um, this is like the perfect example of like that one in the chamber fight that you might bring the hood in for, where you're not going to get crazier power gain buffs in that fight. So we can handle most buff fights, right? Also, I, I, I did see a lot of value in going like medium, medium in that fight. Um, Cause like I said, at SIG 40, 30 something percent chance per medium attack, you get two of them in a row to steal 10% of the opponent's power, which is not bad. It was actually a lot better than I thought that it was going to do. Um, let's, let's look at the exact SIG ability here. 
So 33% chance to steal 10% of the opponent's power, gaining twice that amount in the process. Yeah, so you steal 10% and you gain 20% of what they have. That's not bad. It's actually quite good, especially when you want to keep cycling that special too. Keep in mind, by the way, that fight was all done without Mystic Dispersion. So I think that's a very important thing to note as well, that everything you're seeing here is without Mystic Dispersion. And that was, that I really was impressed by that Hyperion fight. I really definitely was. All right, we're going to take him one more place where he really should be very good for. And if he's not good here, then I'm going to be surprised. Where is it? Up here. So Rage, okay? Rage and also there's like Mystic Conditioning here or something like that where he gets like extra damage for being a Mystic Champion. Let's see. Um, pressure Gauge also. So got to watch out for that. Mystic Focus. Uh, whenever a Mystic Attacker holds Block or charges a Heavy Attack, they activate a Power Gain buff. Mystic Wrath is the one. So yeah, let's just let's see what happens in this fight. So obviously Rage, you got the Fury buffs and everything, right? Got to watch out for Pressure Gauge too. But I think we'll be okay. So we're just staggering the rages up to. Go for one of these. Now here, how about this, man? We can kind of do this. <laughs> That's pretty darn cool. How like, you know, it's a node where you kind of want to hold block, right? And sometimes when you're holding block, the opponent attacks into you. No doubt about it. But here, I felt 100 million thousand gazillion percent safe eating that heavy attack into the block. So that was quite nice. Very, very nice here. And that's, a, that's an interesting showcase, man, because it shows there are a lot of nodes where it's like, you know, hold block, do this, blah, 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 blah. And the nodes keep getting more and more complicated. And that goes to show you how powerful that invisibility mechanic could potentially be. Um, and also he handled rage very nicely. Any buffs at all, just he handles very, very nicely. The damage is really good on this guy too, man. Um, so all around, I'm digging him a lot. I think he's very quite good. I really do. Um, I'm really thinking he's very good here. Um, I think that he's a little slept on at the moment. Is he going to be like super duper useful for like high tier players and Alliance War and stuff? Like maybe I don't know if he'd ever be my first choice as like a Mystic in War, but there's the Rage node he could be really good for. Um, the Invisibility can come in handy as well for like unblockable special uh, mini bosses and stuff like that. Um, powerful from afar. He can get rid of it with the Fate Seal and just the Stagger in general. Um, yeah, this guy is feeling like a very strong champion, man. And it's interesting to me because Kabam took like six extra months to buff this guy to make sure he was balanced properly, but in a really good way where people are going to be happy with him. And I feel like they did a very good job. But I feel like as well, because of that time period of being away for six months and then being thrown in with, I believe, King Root and Venompool, I believe... I think that was the month. He was kind of just like tossed in, like up, up, put his back. I feel like people just kind of like forgot about him. So I don't know, man, but I'm digging this guy a lot. I really actually am. I think I might rank mine up. I didn't expect that. I expected to be like, yeah, he's cool. He's cool. You know, maybe you can like him. Maybe he's good for stuff, but I think he's like actually really good. So yeah, man, I don't know. This is a pretty long video at this point. I feel like we've shown this guy off pretty well. You know, the thing is, like I said, He's, he has that like one and done syndrome when there aren't a million buffs to take advantage of. But when there are a million buffs to take advantage of, he's really good. You know, so are Morningstar and Longshot and all the other Mystic Champs who do that, right? So, but that's the thing, you know? I mean, at the end of the day, he's a Mystic Champion. He's doing what Mystic Champions are supposed to do. And his damage is really nice. And he's also really good for damage and vanilla matchups as well, especially if you bring along the Mole Man Synergy, who's an amazing champ. So... Digging this guy, I feel like he really performed well in this video. So yeah, if you have a hood, I'd say give him another look, man, because he's pretty darn cool. Pretty cool. I think he's at least worth another look. I, I might leave mine at rank two. I don't know, because I feel like rank two is good enough for him. Um, but also, I don't know. I don't know. I might take him up. He's kind of cool. That's it for this one. If you enjoyed it, drop your boy a big old like. Comment what you think about the hood in the comment section below. And make sure you hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any other future videos just like this coming to you in the future. I'll be seeing you around.